Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Girl with the Scalpel. This is Dr. Mehek. I am here to fulfill your dream and help you out to become a dentist and practice as a dentist in United States of America. So in today's video, we will be discussing about a very important topic and this has been a query which I had been getting for quite some time. Uh, you know, as a foreign trained dentist uh, based in uh, Southeast Asian countries, India and Pakistan, we have a different setup and the type of degrees we get here and the type of uh, education system is a bit, not a bit, but quite a lot different from the West. So what happens in the United States or in the North America is if you want to achieve a dental degree that is for example if you want to be a dentist what you need to do so for that after your high school you have to get an, an undergraduate degree now that undergraduate degree could be a pre-dent course or could be anything which is related to health sciences and then you have to give your DAT exam that is the DATs uh, which is the entrance and then you get into a dental school now here a dental school is mostly of four years from first year to fourth year post your fourth year you get a DDS or a DMD degree wherever you have applied and then post that you can and if you at all wish you can apply for your residencies now what happens with foreign trained dentists is there is a degree which is quite popular in areas like India, Nepal, Pakistan, it is the Bachelor's of Dental Sciences degree or the BDS. So if a foreign trained dentist wants to become a dentist in the United States, now he has or she has an option to choose out of these three programs, that is the AEGDs, the GPRs or the Advanced Standing programs. Right. So today we will be discussing about what is the basic difference with these degrees and which I won't say the best but better amongst this, these three and what are the advantages of pursuing one over the other. So let's get started with today's video but guys again don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon so you get an update whenever I upload a video. Also follow me on instagram I daily upload interesting content you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me via instagram you can dm me you can email me and you will get all the answers to your queries right so let's dive in so basically what is an aegd so aegd is actually the advanced education in general dentistry it is one of the programs which tend to focus primarily on the dentistry for example if you have done your bachelor's degree or the BDS or the DDS or DMD from a non-accredited institution then you can go in for a program which is known as AEGD or the advanced education in general dentistry by entering into this program you can either enter a 12 month program or a 24 month program I will let you know which one is better and why it is better you can enter this, you can practice in the North America, get into the North American culture, understand the culture and understand the practice ethics by entering into this program and after passing out you can give your exiting exams, your, your uh, regional special dental board exams and then you can practice in particular states. Right. So this is basically in these programs that generally take place in a dental school environment and a sort of halfway point between a dental student and a practicing dentist. So basically AEGDs do not require you to be on call and you will not get the same level of medical experience as compared to GPR. So basically AEGD is a certified program which provides extensive training in general skills of dentistry, be it clinical skills, treatment planning, patient management and certain comprehensive care. Right? But it is slightly different from GPR. How? Because GPR is mostly involved with the management of the patients who are medically compromised. So for AEGDs, your experience will be uh, tightly focused on the skills. Basically, it's a skill based program which you can use as a general dentist and you will get some experience with expanded functions as well. 
but in the course of time there is a very slight difference which is there in the AEGDs and the GPRs it is more or less the same so these programs are offered for either 12 months or a 12 another 12 month is optional for you in some in some schools and there can be even a complete 24 month modalities so you should choose 12 month and i would recommend to choose a 24 month program or a 12 plus 12 optional program why i'll let you know why because if you secure a 24 month program if you learn for 24 months that is just two years you can practice in states like florida illinois washington wisconsin ohio virginia kentucky and oregon i have been making videos with the detailed descriptions and i have made on florida you will find above here in the link you can watch that video and i'll get more insight into the program right so aegds you should in my recommendation choose at least a 24 month program some of these schools even provide you stipend some of these schools even help you out with your uh, sponsorship that is the j1 sponsorship or the f1 sponsorship and uh, it is just a matter of two years if somehow you can manage uh, with uh, your finances and if at all you are able to secure a place who provides stipend to international students then it's a win-win situation for you you can enter into the united states you can practice in these states practicing for four or five years you can then apply to other states as well after your four or five years of practice sorry practice with the method which is known as the method of reciprocity now what do you mean by reciprocity is after practicing in a particular state for three years or four years or five years depending upon your interest you can apply to other states by the measure of endorsement that is you have already practiced in another state in the u.s and now you want to move to other states as well so you can increase your practice you can flourish your practice and uh, be a flourishing dentist in the United States right so getting back to the today's topic know about what is the GPR so for GPR it is basically we would discuss is it is actually the programs which are focused on the dentistry and the context of a whole body medicine so the participating dentists will be enrolled in the medical rotations as well sometimes in functioning almost as an overflow doctor during some of the time in their program right so these doctors would also be on on call shifts and uh, since the, these gprs don't actually focus exclusively on dentistry so participants gain a wide exposure and experience so this experience is especially useful if you want to pursue a specialty or be it oral and maxillofacial surgery oral and maxillofacial pathology or any of the specialities which are related to you know medical care and uh, many of the patients in your gpr program are medically complex and um, with emergency cases and among your rotations you'll be able to spend considerable time with the anesthesia specialty in the surgical skills and it might be a pathway for you and help you out build your cv to get into that very difficult to crack specialty of oral and maxillofacial surgery if at all you dream about becoming an omfs surgeon in the united states right so again it is offered in two forms that is in 12 month 12 plus 12 and a 24 month program and in my opinion you should opt for a 12 month program not only it will help you develop that skill but also help you become and practice as a dentist as a spe as a specialist with the gpr residency and help in you know building uh, your career in uh, the north america are florida washington wisconsin ohio virginia kentucky and Oregon these are the states where you can practice as a GPR and post your GPR again after practicing for four years five years you can apply for an endorsement or apply for a reciprocity where you can practice in other states as well or if at all you plan to become uh, you know an oral man maxillofacial surgeon or even think of applying into a residency program this would be like a star in your CV right so 
these are the two programs which are quite popular which one to choose should i choose aegd should i choose gpr so it's totally dependent upon you whether to choose an aegd if you just want to be a hardcore dentist you just want to expand your skills you want to be that perfect clinician who can you know provide all the solutions to your patients then you should choose a program like aegd if you want to you know uh, um, i would say uh, treat patients with medical emergencies with medical compromise and maybe have a career in a surgical specialty then you should gpr right then there is another program which is the advanced standing international dentist program or a professional program for international dentists now what is this it is popularly known as aipd or asipd or the ipd in many of the dental schools there are a lot of dental schools which actually accept foreign trained dentists you just have to make your cv you just have to be there apply on time and you might secure a place in a dental school I know it is not very cost effective in terms of it requires a lot of finances you in some cases you need a co-signer to fund your education because it could start from somewhere around 60 70k to and even even go up to 100 120k a year and sometimes it becomes quite a task to get so much finances and if in some cases liquid cash so if at all you are able to do that guys do choose the the uh, the idps because why i'll let you know so it is actually a fully integrated two year advanced standing program designed to teach qualified dentists from a non us country which encompasses didactics as well as the clinical training so this is a pre graduate program where students do a full study for the last 2 years of dentistry mind you guys dds is for 4 years so you directly end to enter into a third year of your uh, dental school it gives you somewhere period of around 6 months where you have to complete all the clinicals and the pre clinicals of your first and the second years then you directly enter into the third year you have to complete 2 years and after this you get a dds a dmd just like your counterparts who had been studying from first year so what's the catch here why is it better than aegds and the gprs because you can practice in all the states in us there is nothing like you can practice just in florida or you can just practice in washington or just in, in wisconsin this is just like you know a golden egg you can practice in any state in us without any restriction so it's more of like a a completely win win situation i know it involves a lot more finances but guys at the end it will be all worthwhile so hands down i would say choose these advanced standing programs they are definitely better than aegds the gprs i am not saying they are not better in terms of clinical skills obviously you'll in sharpen your clinical skills but if at all you're able to manage your finances you should choose the inter- the advanced standing programs and if you are not able to manage due to any reason be it your visa constraints be it your finances what you can do is you can go go and get an aegds or if at all you are a dental specialist in your country and you just want to practice a specialty what you can do is you can go for a gpr route or even directly and then to your residencies okay Now this brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you like the video. I hope now you get got what is the difference and the basic understanding of why what is AEGD, what is GPR and what is the advanced standing program. Right? In the the important tip before ending with today's video, I would like to give there are other options as well. By the way, you can practice in US. first is the limited license in massachusetts i have already made a video on this it will be somewhere above and you can visit that link and watch that complete video as to how you can get a limited license another one is if at all you're not able to manage your finances then if you're only able to secure a place in a 12 month program then you after one year you can even practice in the state of virginia just one year of aegd mind you aegd and you can practice in virginia Also if you want to directly be a specialist and become a specialist and practice as a specialist in the United States you can practice after your specialty program in the state of Texas Florida 
Illinois and even Michigan. These are the four states where you can fully practice after your specialty. So guys, think about it. Uh, you know, give it a thought. What do you want to do and what do you don't want to do, right? So at the end, I would just like to say that today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow that you want. Right? So guys, keep studying and just be motivated. Don't lose hope uh, because you might be just around the corner, right? You know, just keep studying, keep learning. Please be motivated. Uh, give motivation and you know positive thoughts and uh, send love to all your colleagues and friends so till the next time bye bye for today